So talking about strengths of a group of people, um, such as a, you know, students who have uh, experienced trauma, um, looking at their strengths it still puts people into a category. And so when we're talking about how do we define trauma and we want to be specific, but we also want to be sensitive enough that um, generally speaking, every single human being has experienced um, negative things in their life that they've had to work through. And so we talk about how trauma-informed practice benefits everybody depending on their level of need. Some people need that level of support more than others, but it benefits us all. So when we talk about strengths of the population as well, um, let's talk about individuals and what their experiences have been and what their individual strengths are, um, sometimes in relation to the negative things that they have experienced in their lifetime. Um, I think generally speaking, when any of us experience adversity, it changes something about who we are. And we have the opportunity, if we can get to that place through a lot of support and healing sometimes, depending on the extent of the trauma, um, but we can get to a place to use that to strengthen ourselves. So where we can use it to um, build resiliency, build character, build compassion, build empathy. But I think that all of the strengths that can be built from our adverse childhood experiences, um, they really need to be, the person needs to be supported to get to a place where they can see that strength coming from that. Beyond that, I'll, I'll talk to you about an individual and we'll talk about that person's strengths because they are a, a person first beyond any um, category they might fall into. So some of the positive characteristics of people who are experiencing the trauma, um, the biggest one is the strength and the resiliency of them surviving um, a traumatic event. Um, so they are survivors, they do have an abundant amount of strength, compassion, empathy, loyalty, um, and the list goes on. Um, and with those strengths, they generally come out once support and intervention and prevention has been given. Again, this is where the key message is, if a youth or a child experiences trauma, the quicker we can come in and intervene and prevent, um, then the more likelihood that these strengths are going to be seen and more effective um, throughout life. The longer we kind of leave them to sit in their trauma um, and kind of deal with it, the harder it's going to be to pull out those strengths.